In this tutorial, I'm showing you how to make a pom-pom tail for your bunny. We do two different types of tail. Um, one is um, a crochet tail, which is this one, which is safer for little children because young children tend to pull the strands and the pom-pom may fall apart. So this is the one to go for if it's for a young child or if you prefer this one better. And this will be in um, um, the next video. So now we're going to show you how to make one of these little cuties. Look at that. That one's made, that one's rosy, and that's made with the two different colours mixed together. And that one is Betsy. And you can see those little cute pom-poms. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, we're going to grab our wool. Now with it being a little pom-pom, um, I remember when I was a child making pom-poms from cutting out all cereal boxes and we used to do a circle with a hole in the middle and wrap it round. If you're making a smaller pom-pom, you can wrap around your fingers. It's just quicker and easier, saves you cutting up those cereal packets. Um, you can use two fingers or three fingers. For this example, we're going to use two. Um, whoop, which two is easier? This, these two. And we're just going to wrap them round lots of times. Now, the more you wrap, the more a, a dense packed pom-pom you'll get. The less you wrap, you'll get a more sparse um, than a pom-pom. So it's up to you how many times you want to wrap it. Okay, do, do, do. Here we go. So we'll just keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. Don't wrap too tight and find you can't get it off your fingers. <laughs> so I'll do a little bit more, I think. Let's go for a bit more. So we've wrapped it round, so I'm just going to cut it off and then we're going to cut a separate strand quite long, I'd say about 30 or 40 centimetres, probably more, maybe 40 or 50 let's say. want it plenty long enough. Then we're going to gently take it off our fingers, hold it together, don't let it fall apart at this stage. Pop that in the middle of your strand and then we're going to grab both ends and we need to tie this very tightly across the middle. Now before you pull it tight, make sure that it is across the middle. Right across the middle, because if you've got it too far to one side, you can see there, look, it's about in the middle. If you've got it too far to one side, you'll find you're going to have to make your pom-pom quite small to get it all even. Now you're going to want to pull this really tight if you don't pull this tight enough and do a, a tight enough knot, it can come unraveled, which means all the pom-pom will fall to pieces. So I'm going to hold it with my finger as I tie the next knot. I'm holding it really tight. I'm going to keep that tight until I can fasten it again. And then what I'm going to do is turn it over. So I'm going to wrap my strands around the other side. Try not to get it all tangled in the middle because we want this to be... Nice and tight. And then I'm going to double knot it again. So one. Hold it tight with my finger. And then I'm going to do it again. So two. And we're holding it really tight. So we get a nice tight pom pom. Try not to get the threads fastened in it because that will make it very tight. So there we are. Now we're going to keep those long. Keep at least one of those strands cut the other one off. I think I'll leave them both just for now because I've accidentally snipped them off before. Now we're going to cut through all the loops with a pair of sharp scissors trying to cut them around in the middle. We don't want to be cutting them um, to one side. We want to be cutting them down the middle. So all we're doing is snipping all those loops. Now at this point if you haven't tied your knot very loop tightly you may find it all falls apart so that's why we say nice and tight double knots or treble knots and then turn it over and knot it again on the other side so look at that you think that goodness that doesn't look like a very good tail does it looks like the knot had already been dragged through a hedge backwards so what we're going to do now is just gently give it a trim so we're looking for a circular shape look if you see i'm just going round in circles like so, and we're just trimming. So we're just going to go around the circle. Watch for these, keep them out of the way because you'll end up cutting them off. If you do it, it's not the end of the world. We can add another strand on to sew it on, but it's much easier if you've got the strand there to sew it on with. Just makes 
makes it far easier because it's a bit harder to secure a strand onto a pom-pom. So when we've gone round one way, where I'm going to ruffle it and I'm going to go round in the opposite direction. What we're trying to do is get quite a neat round ball. Let's go round one way. And now we're going round in the opposite direction. Got all those strands all over the place. There we go. And we're just going to go for as neat as we can. Depends how much of a perfectionist you are. You might want to leave it a little bit scruffy. Or you might want to keep going until you've got it absolutely perfect. I like it quite perfect, but not 100% right. So we're just going to get rid of any odd ones. These are the bits we don't want, the ones that are just a lot longer or different from the others. I want it quite neat. Mm -hmm. But that, that's looking a lot better, isn't it? get it a bit, look a bit tidier so we're just doing it by eye now I'm just having a look seeing we can see any wayward strands I'm going to just even those up I'm just looking for a nice round ball shape snip 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 <laughs> a little bit wayward looks good to fasten those off if you're generally happy with it Oops, went off the camera there. I can't see me what I'm doing. Getting so carried away watching my pom pom. Right, there we go. So we've given it a good haircut. So it was a good idea to have a little bin near you, a little tray, to drop all the bits in because they do get everywhere. Ah, oh, look at that. That's great. We'll go with that. I'm going to cut one of these off because we only need one. And then all I'm going to do is thread that onto my needle. And then I'm going to sew the pom-pom. Oh, all the bits of fluff, look. I dropped it in the fluff. Right, we're going to sew that onto Bunny's bum. So we're going to sew it about here. Make sure you get it nice and central. So we're going to go under there like so. Hold that on. Now what I tend to do is a good few tight stitches underneath. Really get it nice and secure. But then we will need to go through the pom-pom a couple of times. Aim for the middle because you want to be going through. You don't want to be going through all the loose pom-pom because that won't hold it. You need to be going through that string in the middle where you tied it. So we're going up into the pom-pom. Pull it nice and tight. And then a couple of stitches underneath. We're making it as secure as we can. But see if this is for little ones, I would definitely recommend the other pom-pom, which we'll show you in a different video. The alternative pom-pom, it's a crochet tail. And it's just that more secure for little ones. So pull as tight as you can. I do quite a few stitches to make sure it's nice and tight. Give it a tug, make sure you're happy with it. And then again, we're going to do a few stitches. Like so. Make sure it's secure. I'd certainly do probably a few more than I've just done. Keep going back and forward, do plenty of stitches on the base. Go through your pom-pom, and then you might just need to ruffle it up a little bit. And then you may need to trim off any odd ends. You can tidy it up a little bit more now. Like so. I'm just tidying it up. Look at that. That's so cute. You can't beat a little pom-pom. And there's our pom-pom tail. I hope you enjoyed making that. Might have brought back some childhood memories for you.